Hello, this is Stefan and I'd like to welcome you to the Send Eagle tutorial. This is the first part and we'll be going over the getting started. So I would just like to mention that Send Eagle has helped me a lot. I've been able to do A-B split testing which has helped me optimize which emails to send and increase my clicks. The support has been super helpful. I've been able to easily upload my list and send multiple emails to all my clients. So I've just created a fresh account here and the first thing I'm going to have to do is verify my mobile number. So let's do that first. So I'm going to click verify mobile number. So I received the code and I'm just going to enter it here. And then you're going to click submit. So you're going to get all these informations. Make sure you fill out the ones with the star. That's where you're going to need to get started. So I'm just going to quickly add them in here. So now that I've entered in all the information, I'm going to want to click update profile. So you're going to be able to select your domain name now. This is going to be when you send an email. It's going to be always from a domain name. It's the after the at sign. So my name is Stefan. So I'm just going to see if Stefan Digi sales is open and luckily for me the domain is available so I see all these you can change them if you would like next I'm gonna click submit so you can see that's it's been successfully purchased so now I'm gonna to want to go to the email to send my first email you see it's now I'm in the email campaign and then I'm gonna create an email and I'd like to let you know that they put a SPF verification on it this means that it will have a higher chance of not allowing it to be registered as spam so it'll go into the inbox of other users so uh, for right now we're going to avoid these um, more advanced options we're going to get to the newsletter name this is just when you see it in your portal you're going to see a name that this is under so i'm just going to call it my first test email just to show you guys that's working and the next is the subject so I'm just going to write, um, dear clients, it's just as an example. And then I can write the email here. So here I have my email and then I'm going to want to test the email to see that it works. So I'm going to send it to this email address. And then once I send, I should receive it in that email. So the email has been sent. So I'm going to quickly hop into Gmail. So after a few minutes, you'll see that your email has been sent to the inbox. So you'll read out your email. And then the next thing, once you've tested your email, you're going to go back and you're going to want to start your lists. You can create it with a form. You can start building up your list. Um, I'll explain that in a future video. But right now, if you just have already a list, you can create list here. You want to give it a name. So this is going to be my um, top, let's say top users. So I'm going to send this to all my top users. So this allows me to, let's say I have users in these lists that are the same. So it will delete the same, if there's this as the same user, it will delete it from this list. Um, let's just say I'm going to select all three right now because I don't want them to intersect. So now I'm going to want to upload. I want to choose a file. You're going to want to do a CSV file. So let me just show you how that's made. So if you look here, 
we can go, we have a, an Excel, and then you can save as, and then you go to save as type, you just have CSV right here, so that's really nice to have. So then you're gonna wanna upload a CSV, so I'm gonna go to my downloads and I'm just gonna put my main list right here. And then I'm going to select. So you're gonna have these columns to choose from. When they mean actual column, they're gonna mean the columns you have here. So here you have first name, last name, email, and then you're gonna have these. Um, I'm using a different one than the mention, so I just have an email, last name, and first name. So when you're gonna wanna match them, so when you have email, you have email, first name, first name, last name, last name. Then it's gonna show you uh, just like an example text that you've been using, and then you're gonna wanna upload. Once you've uploaded, you're going to go back to the lists. So it's going to take a while, but it's going to load in the list size. So I'll come back to you when the list has been loaded, and it's also going to verify them. So I'll see you soon. So you're going to see here that your list size has been uploaded. You know it's you know it's going to be done when there's no under verification sign there anymore. So now you want to go to email and email campaigns. And you're going to want to create an email again. And I'm just going to say to top customers. Then my subject is going to be um, awesome new deal. And I'm just going to write the body of it here. And for a lot of the advanced options, we're going to have a different tutorial regarding them. So after that, I'm just going to want to continue, or you can save a draft if you want to do it later. And then you're going to want to choose the list. So I'm going to want to choose the top users list, and I'm going to want to exclude all the others. And then you're going to want to send now. You want to confirm. And then it's going to send to all five of those emails. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next tutorial.